All right, finding a new spot for a great dinner is always great, and there's a restaurant in West Hartford that wants to become your next favorite. Yes, it's a new restaurant that recently opened up, and we are getting a little bit of a taste from Boca Ria, from Chef Carlos Sanz. So Thank nice you. to see Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. So when did you guys open up? We opened in October. October. Yep, in Blueback Square. A little smoke there. Yeah, we got a little smoke coming up. <laughs> from um, your very well seasoned pan. Yes. Very well seasoned. You extra flavor for our, our <laughs> lamb skewers today. Mm, uh, I, everything so, smells so yeah, amazing. Is that what by we're making way. today? That is what we're making. Tell so it's us October. One, you guys October, got started. Yep, yeah. we've been there in October. Uh, we're right next to the Flemings, so connected in the same building. Okay. Uh, in Blueback Square in West Hartford. I know exactly where that is. How, how would you describe, you know, what people can expect in terms of what's on the menu? Is it a tapas place? It's, it's all tapas. Okay. Um, very traditional with some twist just to make it more approachable for uh, our guests here in the States. I love it with some twists. Yes, what little kind twist. of twist. So we have some fun things like flatbreads on the menu that everyone oh. loves. Um, and then we also have our classics like the paella with seafood and we have a vegetarian mm. option as well. Oh, that's really that's wonderful. Yeah, so we have good. something for everyone. And uh, the type of crowd you're attracting, can you bring the kids or no? You can definitely bring the kids. We are <laughs> kid friendly and yeah, adult good. friendly and everyone in between. But that's if you don't fantastic. want to bring the kids and you get a babysitter, that's okay too, right? That is right? very <laughs> That's a good way to go, too. That's a good date night. Yeah, right? <laughs> Leave the kids at home. Well, and tapas is fun because it's all about sharing. It is. I love tapas. Right? Describe, to, for those of you, some people might not Don't even know. know what tapas yeah, is. Yeah. Describe for us what it is. It's essentially a great way to try a lot of different dishes. So we do smaller portions. Um, you can order anything from vegetarian options all the way to meat options. But it's essentially small bites to uh, hold you over until either your next course or to get you through the happy hour of drinking. Ooh. Which is really Ooh. important in Spain. Okay. So, do the people do order something. tapas and then go to a main entree, or they just do tapas throughout the whole meal? Typically, it's tapas throughout the whole meal. Okay. We also have some larger portions, too, for those uh, singles who come in and they want to have a, a bigger portion just for themselves. Okay. So what are we making today? We have some lamb skewers for us today. Um, very traditional. It's one of our best sellers. Uh, we use a lamb sirloin, so it's a leaner cut, and then we marinate it with our, uh, we have some fresh herbs, some dry herbs, uh, and what we do is we toast our peppercorn, coriander, some fennel, Ooh. we toss it with paprika, uh, saute some onions, and then mix it all together with lemon juice and uh, olive oil. That's and then good. we marinate that for at least 24 hours, so oh, that wow. meat that's, really gets all that that's flavor. That's a good amount of time. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then uh, on the menu, they're called pincho morunos, and the reason that they're called Pincho Morunos is because pincho is anything that's served on a skewer. Oh, okay. Pincho? Yep, pincho, yep. Pincho. Exactly. Pincho. Oh, cool. Yeah. So we're going to uh, cook some of this right now. We've got our little olive oil. Is that pan hot enough for you? Yeah, we can get a little hotter. Right here. <laughs> it's never, never hot enough. It's very temperamental. So we serve it with grilled bread. We get our fresh bread every day, um, and it's just a perfect uh, partnership of tangy and savoriness, and then with the uh, some Ooh. toasted bread, it goes really well together. That is remarkable. Yeah. That's good. So our meat obviously is already seasoned mm -hmm. um, for with 24 the, hours. For 24 thanks. hours yep. with the, and that sizzle exactly what you want to hear. So we're gonna just leave that there for a few minutes. And uh, we're gonna finish it off, like I said, over the toasted bread with a little bit of, um, we call it a moruno sauce, mm -hmm. which is basically fresh herbs, a little bit of lemon juice, olive oil, and we top it right over the meat with a uh, pickled shallots right next to it. Pickled shallots? Pickled shallots. I don't think I've ever had pickled shallots. Yeah. That sounds amazing. And if you wanna make this at home, we also have a cookbook, uh, Bocaria, that is available on Amazon. And it has all these fun recipes uh, that you can do at home. And nothing is too difficult. They're all really, really fun and really easy. Wow, that cooks really yeah. fast. Yeah, and we don't want to overcook it because it is such a lean cut of meat. And we just want to get a nice sear on that. Okay. That's why we have you here showing us because we would not know what to do. I would burn this thing <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> so I pre-toasted some bread for us. But like I said, we get that fresh daily. And this is just a really fun way to eat uh, basically anything uh, mm. with some toasted bread. 
And I meant to ask you, are there any other Boqueria locations? Yes, uh, West Hartford is actually our 10th location. Oh, oh my wow. goodness gracious. Yeah, we're based out of New York City. Okay. Uh, so we have four in New York, and then we have two in D.C., wow. one in Chicago, one in Nashville. And what's your background? How did you get into this? So uh, my background is actually Spanish. My grandparents come from uh, Galicia, which is a region in Spain. Wow. And then Beautiful. immigrated to Cuba, and uh, then wow. immigrated here into uh, the States. So the Spanish cuisine kind of uh, has always been in my in my blood, so to speak, and something I've always been passionate about. And uh, I was fortunate enough to join Boqueria Group about a year ago. That's, oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, pretty excited to be here. It's like full circle, you Full know? circle. So oh, as amazing. you can see, we have a nice little sear on our pinchos. Then we're going to put them right over here, right over our bread. There we go. And I'll take that off the pan. And then very simply, just a little bit of our fresh herbs with olive oil. That looks Lemon beautiful. juice. Oh, my goodness gracious. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And this is how it's typically served? This is, this is how it's served exactly wow. in the restaurant. Yep. And our guest really love it because it is a fun sharing snack as well. As you can see, we got two. And then pickled shallots. Pickled shallots. And I see you have some beverage here. <laughs> what do. is this? Ours. Tall glass of water. You can't have tapas without sangria, in my opinion. <laughs> and we have a couple of different sangrias. We have a red, a white, uh, and then some fun seasonal sangrias also. Well, well I mean, I might as well get, get the drinks going, Rome. right? It's never too early for sangria. Yeah. Scott? That is absolutely for sure. Thank you, you so go. much. Thank you. All right. And how can people get a hold of you and find you? Well, we are uh, on Open Table, so you can make a reservation there. On Resi also, um, cheers. <laughs> we can uh, join us in our website as well and make reservations through mm. there. We're open for lunch and dinner uh, every day. And then brunch we do on Saturdays and Sunday. Oh, fun. And this Sunday we're actually doing brunch all day. So, Ooh, oh, wow. All day great. brunch? Who doesn't want breakfast for dinner? Well, thank you so much for being thank with you. us. It's a pleasure. So nice thank you so much. You. Thank you. All right, Marcy, over to you. No. Nope. Oh. Oh, we're going to talk to Dr. Saunders coming up.